What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 171 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys a, well it's a special episode and you're thinking Jack it's a game against Stuttgart you talked about it last time why is it special? I don't know why I sound like I'm about to cry I'll tell you why it's special because it's our thousandth game in charge of Gibraltar Apex. A little bit nutty that stat. 1000 games! In charge of the same team. I don't think I've ever done that in Football Manager. That's that's ridiculous. If we look at longest serve managers in the save game, um, and just sort here, you can see we're doing fairly well. There's a few managers who have had a little bit of a head start on us, and to be honest, they're doing a very impressive job of kind of continuing to manage the same team. Uh, if we look here at, uh, not Time at Club, if we look at, uh, which one was it? Which one was it? Landmark, was it Landmarks? It was Landmarks. You can see we are the manager who's won the most leagues at the same club. And we also have the most cup wins. However, there's a few few managers doing a little bit better when it comes to awards, including Ian Murray of Tottenham Hotspur. Ian Murray, apparently a world-class manager in the making. Either way, today it's the game against Stuttgart. It's the 1,000th game. It's kind of a special one. It also marks the start of our kind of live comms, at least, in terms of the Champions League. Uh, you guys have missed a few games just since the last episode. We played against Cluj and uh, Gibraltar Phoenix. We won 4-0 and 9-0, or 4-0 and 5-0, or 9-0 in total. And um, we, did, we did very well in all of them. They were fairly convincing. Stuttgart today lost against Benfica. Next episode will be a Benfica doubleheader, so you've got that to look forward to. But today... It's the 1,000th game. It's a special game. Let's hope we can actually get a win today. That's got to be the aim. In terms of the team, uh, I'm going to quickly review it here, really. I think we're going to play Magni ahead of Smith, which might be a little bit of a controversial decision, but I feel like it's for the best. Um, elsewhere in the team, obviously, Mosca Jr., Girard, fairly full strength. I actually think I'm going to play Dus ahead of Mosca. Uh, in the midfield, we've got Mini Mosca and Volsky. I'm pretty happy with that as my centre midfield duo. And then uh, the back four, back at full strength for today's game after, of course, the anomaly... Uh, anomaly I can't say the word anomaly... Anon when something is out, out of out of touch, anon I can't say the word anomaly... Anonymly, send help. Send Pray for me tonight. Hashtag pray for Jackie. Can't say the word anomaly... Still can't say it. I tried. Right. Either way, it's it's the back four. It's young in goal. We're back at full strength. Let's see how we get on here. Magni's struggling for match fitness. As I said, hashtag in the chat or in the comments. Pray for Jack. I need it. I can't speak English. It's terrible. Um, looking at their team, it's a fairly good team, Stuttgart. They're not great, though. You know, we, we should be expecting to beat them here. And, uh, well, that is what I expect from the players today. Going to tell them all I have faith in them. Hopefully going to get them motivated. We are going away from home to Germany for this game. Let's see how we get on. A bold decision perhaps to play the 4-2-3-1 wide, particularly after that defeat against Gibraltar Lions. However, this formation did serve us well against Cluj, where, as I already mentioned, we won 4-0 in our opening um, kind of Champions League group stage game, which saw us go top of the group. So that was good. But really, we want to build upon that early momentum in the game that we were expected to win by getting a what could end up being key win, I guess, here against Stuttgart, who are a good team early on. We're doing well. We're struggling to keep hold of the ball, but we are the team having all the shots and creating... Well, I don't want to say creating all the chances, but there's been no half chances and no clear-cut chances, and we're almost 40 minutes in. Not a great display, really, by either team here. And, uh, well, 45 minutes gone in this game. This might end up being the shortest episode ever, as they, 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 they score off the post. Well, Francisco's loving it. He looks, he looks delighted. They've scored from a set-piece... And I am immediately, I'm not panicking, but I, I am going to change the system almost immediately here. And I am going to bring on Mosca. I feel like last episode, I made my changes too late. I shouldn't have waited to go behind to make the changes against Gibraltar Lions. I've learned from that today. I, I, I'm, I'm making the changes before half time. We're going narrow. We've really struggled to break down Stuttgart. We struggled to keep hold of the ball. And I'm going to tell the players that they're doing awful because they are. We need to bounce back. We need to step it up in the second half. This is our thousandth game in charge. This is not what I wanted. And, uh, well, this is not what we can afford this game to end at, really. We need to be winning this. We should be comfortably winning our Champions League groups at this point. And, well, we're on... I mean, they've scored a scream of Markovic. It's a good goal. It's a good goal by Markovic. They've had two shots. They've both gone in. Is it going to be a case that for the second game in a row, we get FM'd? Because that's what it's looking like at the moment. 
FM, she can be a cruel mistress. And it would be painful to get FM'd two games in a row. And you'd have to say this game is one hell of an FM. Spesh. Right, we have to... Ch I mean, what do I change? And that is the question. Cabasele and Gaiganov push higher up. Complete wingbacks on attack. I need you to that. Mini Mosca, drop back into support. Let's go for this. Let's try and make something special happen. We're going to move Girard into an attacking role. We're going to play Deuce as a big target man. We're going to play a higher tempo. We're already closing down a fair bit, but we are going to play um, a slightly higher line here. See how we get on, obviously, playing the two centre-backs. Hopefully they can kind of hold firm, but we need two goals at least in this game. We've kind of switched for a system that, I've got to be honest, I've never used before, but a thousand games in, we can experiment. It's always worth it. It's always worth experimenting. And, uh, well, let's see if we can make something happen here. As Dues should have got their pennant, collects, cleared only as far as Gaikov, who puts it back in the mixer. Cleared away, but only as far as Mini Mosca, who is on a booking. Please don't get sent off. They're on the attack again. A sad, just deal with that young... To do's. do's should be winning that in the air. He doesn't even make an effort to get to where the ball's landing. And unfortunately for us, Stuttgart, who I've, I feel like at this point I've underestimated, are on the attack. We have a counter though. Girard, finish that please. Sebastian, what are you doing? What are you doing, you Wazak? I mean, episode 171. It was meant to be special. It was meant to be amazing. It was meant to be glorious. And it's ended... In a humiliating defeat, and this has been an awful start to the season. For the first time in a while, I made profit in the transfer window with my sales. Apparently, I should have been strengthening up, because so far we've been... Well, I want to say we've been unlucky. Apparently, Stuttgart did strike lucky. I can confirm that was the case, but regardless, it's simply put... It's not good enough. It's not good enough. And the players need to take a long, hard look at themselves and really step it up because we've got two tough games against Benfica, the big team in our group now. Yes, that game was away from home. Yes, it was against Stuttgart, who are not a bad team by any means. But at the same time, you expect us to do better. You expect us to do better and simply put, we, we've not done that today. And that in itself is bitterly, bitterly disappointing. It's worth noting that Forster's their key player, is a player I've been looking at for a while. I really want to sign him. I really want to... He looks sick. He looks amazing. He looks like a great wing-back or centre defensive mid, to be honest, which is where I'd probably play him. Either way, I can't just sit window shopping. We've lost to them. We need to get revenge against Forsters and Montella's pretty little bunch. And, well, we'll hope to do that in two episodes' time, I guess. Guys, I apologise for the fact this is a shorter episode. I was hoping we were going to have goals galore. It was going to be a bit of a mad game, but we'd get all three points. It's not happened today. It's not gone our way. Stuttgart have made us look like absolute mugs and now we really have to step things up going forward. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do leave a like. Uh, you may have noticed the episodes have slowed down a little bit over the last kind of week. Uh, obviously, it's a bank holiday weekend coming up as I record this. I'm going to be trying to get a lot more episodes up. Hopefully, we're going to start getting them daily again. Um, I feel like sometimes shorter episodes, but daily episodes is probably what people would prefer. Let me know. Quantity or quality? I mean, what I'm saying is quantity... Or short or longer length. Let me know. I mean, I could have done another game in this one, but I feel like Benfica double header is something to savour because they're a team we meet a lot. If we look at the past meetings, it's always competitive between ourselves and Benfica. And really, I guess off the back of the Stuttgart results, suddenly this game against Benfica holds all kinds of uh, meaning. I mean, you can see here how tight it is between the two sides. We've met each other a long of lot of times over the years. Let's hope we can do one over on them. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed, as I already said. If you've got any comments, leave them down below, including the words pray for Jack, because I can't say the word anonymously. I, anon I can't. I can't say it. I can't say it. Right, we're out. We're out. Cut the tape. This episode been a train wreck. Absolute train wreck.